this is part one of popping up the Flagstaff pop-up camper. So we're gonna start at our front and kind of work our way around. All right, so we'll start up here with the coupler. Uh, when you undo this thing, uh, you wanna make sure that you take the pin out and the clip will lift right up. That'll allow you to roll up uh, this crank. So you just start turning that thing and it'll take it up off the ball and you wanna move the uh, car away. And you wanna get it a pretty good ways away because there's gonna be a bed that slides out uh, from here. Also make sure you undo your chains and I like to keep the pin right back in the hole that you took it out of. That way it's always there. We also wanna take the chains, just kinda of wrap them up uh, over, the, uh, over the coupler. All right, that's step number one. Step number two is that we need to get some tools out of the camper itself. So if you follow me around to this side, when I open up this door, you'll see a little, uh, a little compartment inside. So we'll open that right up. And inside this door is where we keep all of the tools. Make sure that they go back in this door. You don't wanna leave them laying around. Uh, the other word to the wise is do not put them on top of the camper because you're going to roll this thing up And if you forget then all your tools are up on top All right, so a couple of things that we need out of here first One is going to be a level if you don't have the level or if I didn't keep it in the camper uh, Download one on your phone because your phone will work just as well So we're going to lay that out The next thing you will see is that there will be these uh, wheel chunks um, if you're on a level piece of ground, you can go ahead and put them behind the tire. Uh, if not, you'll find some of these levelers. Uh, a lot of the things that we found kind of the hard way is that a lot of the campgrounds that we had are very uneven. Uh, you want to make sure that the, camp is, uh, the camper is level because if you start sleeping in that thing and it's not, all the blood's going to rush to your feet or to your head. So you want it to be uh, comfortable inside. So the way that this will work is usually you only need one or two. Um, if it's really unlevel, you just put that right behind the wheel. Uh, if your car is still hooked up, just back it right up on there. Uh, so that way you'll have a nice level surface. Now once you get on there, you might have to do this a couple of times. If you're not quite level, this is where we take the level. And rather than putting it on the top, because the top is definitely uneven, we want to actually put it uh, on the bumper. So you'll put the level on the bumper. You can see that I'm pretty level here. Could probably use uh, one of those wheel chocks if you like so I am a little lower on the right side than I am the left side um, and then we'll also do the same thing on the other side of the bumper it's pretty darn close for this video so I'm going to leave it uh, if you have an iPhone or you have an Android phone you could set that kind of in the same place as well so that'll get you nice and even you also want to be uh, even from front to back you don't want one side being lower than the other and again, don't put it on the top because this is on level. You'll see the door frame. And that way you can see whether you need to go forward or backwards. And that'll let you know to roll the crank up that I showed you in the front, uh, either up or back just a little bit. Once you get that nice and even, you can just throw that level back in there. Um, and now we're ready to pull out uh, our wheel chalk once we get it uh, just like we like. I don't need it today, but you wanna put that wheel chalk there. Uh, if not on one side, make sure the wheel chalk is on the other. If you don't need these things, make sure that they find their home back in that hole. Now we're going to take out a couple of different tools. You'll have two different cranks. One crank will be to uh, roll the, um, the camper itself up. The other one will be to put the, uh, the levelers down. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. So we have the wheel, we have the crank. This is to roll the uh, camper up and down. And then we have the levelers, uh, which we'll use in just a minute. Um, so once we, actually we'll do that first, <laughs> sorry. So take your black crank, and there will be four of these on each corner. So you just wanna plug it in, it'll have a little slot that it slides into, and we'll just start to wheel that down. Now you don't want to wheel this down so tight, you just want to get it until it is flat on the ground and gives you a little bit of resistance. We're not trying to lift the camper up off of the tires. This is so that when we pull the beds out on each side, the camper won't rock back and forth. 
So this is what kind of keeps it from seesawing uh, from one, to, one side to the other. So we'll just go ahead and crank those down. You get the idea. It's going to be on all four corners. We're not going to do all four of them, but just make sure you do all four, uh, all four corners. Once those are down, yeah, on each side, we'll go ahead and put one down here and one down here. So those will all come down. Make sure that at this point you put the tool back in its place. I can't stress this enough because if you leave this at a campsite, uh, you're really in trouble. So we'll make sure that our tools go back into the, uh, into the compartment. Once we have those down, you can go ahead and close this door for now. Um, and now we're ready to unfasten the camper. You'll see that it has these little uh, couplers. We'll just go ahead and pull down on those. You want to make sure that they fall all the way down. And we're going to do that on each side. Alright. Once those are undone, we want to make sure, you'll see at the top of the camper, that there's a little plug. This is going to provide all of the power for the camper. So all of your different... Um, uh, plugs to charge your phone to run a blender uh, needs to have power. This also provides uh, power to the overhead lights as well as the uh, air conditioning unit that's up on top. You'll see uh, uh, on the uh, right side of the camper there will be this yellow plug. We're just going to go ahead and pull that out and we're going to plug it into that spot. Now I say that uh, make sure that you do this because if you run the camper up and you have not hooked this thing in, uh, you'll have to roll it back down or you have to stand on a cooler or something to plug it in. So we've learned that the hard way. So make sure that that is plugged in. Once we've done that, we're ready to start popping up the camper itself. So that is where we are going to take our crank. And you'll see on the front of the coupler, there will be a slot that it fits directly into. Go ahead and do that, and now you just gotta put your back into it and crank this thing up. All right. When you get about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway, you'll see a green cord here. This green cord will give you a guide as to how far up you want to go. Now, originally this was screwed into the camper. Uh, it's getting a little old, but uh, there is a, a spot in here that you can just kind of plug it into. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it's worn out. Um, still, it's okay. Uh, you just need kind of a guide as when to stop. So we're gonna roll that up until that cord kind of pops out on its own. Kind of keep an eye on it there. Once it gets kind of tight, you might want to check it. It could pop out on its own like it did just then. Then you know you're all the way up as far as you need to go. Uh, so for now, just let that green cord hang. And now we're ready to pull our uh, beds out. If you look at the front of the camper, it might be tucked in. There's a little strap. That little strap, you just grab it and then start pulling this thing out. All right, once you've got the side out, you can come over to the side and you have access to the bed. If you lift up, you'll see all the different pieces that we'll need in order to um, secure the camper. So what we're looking for are a couple of different things. Support poles for the bed and uh, safety poles for the camper itself. So what I like to do is pull those out, just kind of lay them aside, pull out the safety support. Safety support will go with the little triangle piece up. It hooks onto the pole and just slide it up until you pull that thing lock in, give it a bump. Now that thing won't slam down on you if that cord were to break. There'll also be a second pole 
and we'll go over to the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing in the back uh, right corner of the camper. Part of this is just getting a workout walking around this thing 200 <laughs> times. Okay, so if this happens, this is a good teaching point as well, is that it should slide in. But notice that right here, notice that we don't have enough room. That means we need to go higher up on the camper. It's also, it also means that the camper might be unlevel. Uh, which we know that it is because it's sitting in my driveway. <laughs> so I'm going to go back over. Might have to push the bed in a little bit, but you need to get back to the crank. And just take it up just a little bit higher. Uh, yep. So if you're running into this problem, you need to level the camper. So for right now, for this video, I'm going to put it on a different one. Notice that now it slides right in and locks. Do it one more time. Huh? Do it one more time. So notice that, again, triangle up. We can put it up against the, uh, the camper. You normally want to put this on the back right-hand side. Uh, my camper's a little unlevel right now from being in the driveway. But again, it's just going to bump in and lock. So now, if this thing ever were to uh, collapse on itself, uh, you can have people in the camper and we're, we're safe at this point. Now, what I like to do at this point also is roll it back down just a little bit. It might take a little bit of muscle. But you can bring it down. It doesn't have to rest on those things, but it will secure them in place. So about, about a turn, turn and a half, bring it back down just a little bit. And again, we'll pull out the bed. Okay. At this point, we're really ready to start setting up the bed. Now, you remember those two black poles that I talked about? Let's grab them off of the ground. And I don't know if I can get the video under here or not, but there'll be a slot that they fit into. Now, the way that I like to do this, you'll see underneath here, there'll be a, a spot that they fit in. So go ahead and slide it into that spot. Maybe use your... Uh, shoulder to kind of get it up in there and you can just kind of let it hang same thing on the other side now notice that there is a hole on the trailer itself that these poles are going to fit into you have to have the bed all the way out just make sure everything's out now the way that I like to do this is if you kind of crouch down underneath and crawl under this thing it's not very heavy so you can use your back to actually kind of lift this thing up and it's going to slide right into that hole. And it's going to be the same thing on the other side. A little tricky the first couple times you do it. Hold them in place. Now that bed is secure. Crawl out from underneath it. Now we're going to do the same thing on the back side. So what we're looking for is that little strap that I showed you earlier. This is how we're going to, we're going to pull this bed out. Slides right out like a tray. Kind of locks into place. And we're going to look for those same black poles. So, on the side of the camper, you do have access to the bed. Uh, or on the other side. Wherever those poles are, you can find them. So again, two black poles. Uh, use your back. Put these things in. And just crawl right under this thing. You'll have a slot on each side. And again, we're looking for the holes in the actual trailer itself. It takes a little practice, but once you do it a couple times, it won't be a problem much anymore. There's one and the other. So now that, that side is secure. So with those, uh, with those feet down, this is where you can sleep on this thing. Um, there's been two of us sleep on each side. Uh, we have a queen bed on this side and a full size on the other. And then also inside, once we get in there, there are two additional beds that we could uh, sleep on if we need. Now at this point, we're gonna go around the outside of the trailer and we're gonna start Velcroing things. So I like to start in this back corner and we'll work our way around clockwise. 
Notice that each of these have Velcro on them, and you're gonna put it right over those uh, security poles that I showed you a little bit earlier. We'll go ahead and walk around this thing. Now the corners are gonna be a little tight too, so they might take a little bit of muzzle, but we're gonna pull the flaps down. This will keep any rain from getting inside of it. And again, we're just gonna kind of pull those over the corner. And if you notice, the flaps also have Velcro underneath them. Just tuck it under, you can kind of feel around under there uh, for that Velcro as well. And we'll do all four corners this way. So pull our flaps out, pull it down over the corner. You'll see that we have Velcro all the way around. All right. Just keep working our way around clockwise, making sure everything is velcro Each corner again, cut the corners, make sure you pull out your flaps. underneath all right now at this point you'll see a little bungee cord that's hanging out this bungee cord we're just going to run it underneath uh, this has also been helpful uh, you know if you sleep with your cell phone like I do um, we want to make sure that nothing falls out on the ground from the inside. So as you velcro these things, just take this, uh, take this little bungee cord and throw it so you can grab it on the other side. And there'll be a little hook that we put it into. So we'll grab that and right on the flap that you pulled down earlier, you'll see there'll be a little hole. Just kind of work it in there. A little tricky sometimes, there we go. But that'll keep it nice and tight. Keep the rain out of this thing. And there'll be one of those on each side. Okay, so we've pretty much finished with the Velcro on the outside, and now we're gonna work on the door. So the way that this works is that you certainly can leave this door on if you like. It's got a little latch that'll keep it back. Uh, I know when we're camping, sometimes we like to hang a garbage bag on here or something, but this door is pretty much useless. Um, if you want to take it off, just grab it from the bottom and it'll slide right up out of those holes. Now there's a storage place for it on the back. So again, we're going to walk around this thing. And right underneath the deck here, you'll see there's two holes that it's going to slide right into. So just kind of look underneath there, get them lined up, give it a tap, and that thing will just hang there the rest of the time that you're camping. All right, so at this point, we're ready to go inside the camper and start hooking up the door. So once we're inside, you might see that the sink is, is currently down. So what we wanna do is grab it right underneath the front of this thing, and it's just gonna flip over. Just do it really lightly and nicely. Now you have a sink and a stove. You've got room to work. So at this point, let's look up on the ceiling. Up at the ceiling, now this is a little tricky also the first couple of times that you do it. You'll notice that the door hangs from the ceiling and there's uh, bolts here, well, snaps here, that will unsnap. This thing also lives on a track. It's got a little cord over here towards the right and you'll see these little sliders on the top. This is what's gonna keep the door from crashing down, kind of keep it in place as a guide. So step one to this thing is over here on, uh, as you're facing the door, you'll see a little plastic clasp. Make sure that you turn that and it'll pop up out of that hole. I like to grab it just about in the middle of this thing. Now you can pull it up out of the hole and it's gonna drop right down into place. So you kinda, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, take two. <laughs> Once we've undone the, uh, uh, undone the clasp, we want to hold on each side kind of in the middle, lift up, 
and undo these buttons. All right, so at this point the door is, is free. We're gonna lift up on the door and it's gonna slide right down those tracks. So you can see our little uh, straps are freestanding. That'll keep it from crashing down. So the next part is to secure the door. I always like to take it, kind of turn it uh, catty corner so that you go outside of the camper with the door and it's gonna fit right into this place and all of these little plastic things that you see, we're just gonna turn those so that it keeps the door in place. Might have to give it a little wiggle here and there, especially if you're on some uneven, uneven uh, portions. Also up towards the top, take the uh, little decorative flap out of that and you'll be able to uh, push the door into place. It also has these little uh, uh, secure clasps as well. Um, if you're running into the problem like I am, uh, you might have to give it another crank up. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. You can just hang tight. All right, so now that we've got our door in place, we wanna make sure all of these uh, little plastic clips are in place and that holds the door in place nicely and you should be able to open and close the door. Now from the inside, notice that it has Velcro as well. So we wanna go ahead and grab that Velcro and really just start putting it up against the door. And this also helps secure the door and keep any water from coming in. And at this point we can keep working inside the camper if you like, or if you wanna open it up to get some air, certainly able to do that. So let's go ahead and let's work on the padding that you see down here towards the bottom. So move any junk that you might be storing in the camper and the pads are just gonna lift right up and they become your seat bags. Nice. Um, at this point as well, you'll see how they, how they fit together. Um, you have this deck, this also makes the other bed as you saw, so if you had uh, you know, maybe six or eight people sleeping in here, sleeps pretty comfortably, uh, you're just gonna lift up from the bottom of this table and this table will actually go outside I'll just show you a quick demo of this and that it locks into place and there's a little button here so if the outside ground is not uh, level you certainly can can make it work outside just put this out of the way for right now and just uh, lean it up against something this allows you now to get to the tent portion of the camper so the way that I like to do this is you'll find another, uh, another white bar and right up on the front of this white bar, there'll be a place that it fits into. If you can see that. So I'm putting it right on that little knob is what we're looking for. So once you get that, you're just gonna push it right up. It'll lock into place. Now this takes a little bit of elbow grease. Up at the top here under this little decorative flap is the hook that this end of the pole is going to go into. So you have to give it a little bump and it's gonna lock right in place. You can see that we've got a nice place to sleep on, on this side. Uh, working towards the other side of the camper, if we're looking at the sink and we're working on our left side at this point, we're gonna to start to put this bed together. Now you can see that it'll sleep also. It's not the most comfortable bed in the world, but if you have a sleeping bag, you don't even feel those uh, little bumps. But again, that'll sleep another person. So now we've got two, four, five, six that will sleep com comfortably for sure. We're gonna start taking off the padding for this. And it kind of goes together like a, a puzzle piece, but for now I just wanna set them out of the way. Just gonna stack them on top of the sink for now. And now you'll see a little platform as well. It is hinged, so this piece will lift up and over and just let it flop. Uh, also, you'll notice that there are some corner couch pieces. We'll just put those in the corner and you can start putting this uh, seating back together. This gives us our nice bench seating. Now also through camping, we've learned a little bit about just kind of storing some junk that we use to camp. So if you have fold up chairs, um, you have outdoor lights, we have uh, a couple of different lanterns here. We just kind of keep those things out and at this point you could take all that junk out and you've got a nice walkway. It also has a table uh, that we'll set up here in it, uh, as well. But we're gonna do the same thing to this side and then I'm gonna find my white pole that will be stored underneath the mattress. And again, we're just plugging it right into that little knob. We'll give it a push 
and then some elbow grease to get it into the same little coupler that we saw uh, up towards the front. Here we go. And now we've got a nice place to sleep on this side and you can finish putting in your padding. All right, so as far as the inside setup of the camper, with the exception of the table because of all of our junk here, uh, it's pretty easy to set up. You'll have a table under there. It has a pole and a slot in the ground uh, that will really just set up a little dining room table on one side, and then you got the nice open area um, on the right. Uh, also up towards the top, uh, you do have an air conditioner as well. So high cool uh, is on this side, and then your temperature gauge is on your right side. Um, you can pause. Gantry. Oh, oh, dang. Uh, we pause. don't have just tell them about oh, it. Okay. Also, up towards the top, you'll notice that there's four clips here. There is a pantry that will hang from here as well, and it's really, really pretty easy. It's got little clips on it. You'll just put them up in all four corners, and then you'll have a nice pantry hanging over your sink for you know all your canned goods and all your uh, paper towels and stuff. All right. So really at this point, uh, let's also talk just a little bit about this table and kind of buttoning up things on the outside. So now I'll grab the table and bring it outside. And just lean it up against the camper for now. Uh, really kind of the last step of this thing is right around the door on the outside. It has Velcro as well. We want to make sure that that is all buttoned up nice and tight. No water getting in there if it happens to rain. All right, now this table has a slot right on the outside, right underneath the Flagstaff logo. You'll see a little tray that it's gonna rest on. Um, there is also an outdoor grill if you want to clip it on the outside. And it has a place here that it will connect directly to the, um, to the propane should you want to cook outside. I've never used it, but if you like to, it is there. Now at this point, we're really just gonna go ahead and lift up the outdoor um, table. And you'll see it'll clip in here. Again, it'll take a little bit of practice. Once it's secure, you can kind of wiggle it and you'll feel that it catches. And that's where you wanna bring down the leg and then just make the leg uh, the right height. You'll see it kind of like a little ball hitch here. Now you got a nice outdoor table. A couple other things to consider on the outside of the uh, camper itself is if we walk around this side of the camper, something that's been helpful camping, we have an outdoor outlet, which is available here. And then you also have this nice light that will come on and off. Uh, the last thing that we'll show you on the outside of the camper is on the opposite side. If you're camping someplace nice, they'll have electrical hookup. Um, on the outside, this is your drain tube for the sink. Um, you can have a, a hose for this. I normally just let it drip right out of the side. It's usually not that much water. Also, this is your water intake. So if you have, uh, there's a hose on the inside of the camper, uh, you can plug that directly in, turn that on, and then you have water uh, to your sink as well. Uh, the rest of this stuff, I wouldn't really worry about. There is a place that you could have water uh, if you didn't have a water hookup that you can fill up. And then we have a, uh, an exhaust vent on cold nights if you're using the heater on the inside. Okay. Um, oh, also right next to the cord that you put um, on the top of the camper, there is a, an electrical hookup. I believe this is a 27 amp. Some of them run down to like 16. Um, and in this case, there's a coupler on the inside of the trailer that will hook on here and make it like a regular two-prong outlet for your house. Uh, inside, if you look up towards the top, and it just fits right in here as well. On the inside of the camper, there are also overhead lights if you need, and there are uh, little LED lights that just turn on and off. But other than that, um, you know, just take a look around, make sure that you button everything up. Uh, it does leak just a little bit in heavy, heavy rain, but for the most part, if it's light rain, we haven't had a problem with it too much. So that is the setup of the Flagstaff pop-up camper.